An ovarian cyst is a fluid-filled sac that develops in or on the ovary. These cysts are very common in adolescents, especially in those who have started their periods. Most cysts of the ovary are small, usually just a few centimeters in size. Most are harmless and don't cause any problems. In fact, they often go away on their own. However, if they're large or don't go away, your healthcare provider may recommend additional imaging and follow-up. Why do these cysts form? When we're born, our ovaries already contain millions of little eggs. During adolescence, as we go through puberty, the changing levels of hormones signal our body to start the menstrual cycle. During this time, the hormones tell our ovaries to develop or ripen an egg that will be released from the ovary each month. This is called ovulation. The egg develops inside a small fluid-filled sac called a follicle. Follicles typically grow to about three centimeters in size, but can become larger. If we took an ultrasound picture at this time, the follicle might appear as a cyst on the ovary. This is a very normal finding during certain times of the menstrual cycle. What are the main types of ovarian cysts? There are many different types of ovarian cysts. Here are a few. Follicular cysts are seen when the fluid-filled follicle that contains an egg enlarges. Sometimes the follicle doesn't release the egg, so it turns into a cyst that continues to grow for a little longer. These cysts are considered normal or physiologic and usually go away after a few weeks. Corpus luteum cysts can be seen after ovulation or the release of the egg. Once the egg is released, the cyst can close back up on itself and grow bigger. Sometimes there may even be a little bleeding inside the cyst, which may then be called a hemorrhagic cyst. These cysts are also very common and normal and will usually go away on their own. Those with polycystic ovarian syndrome, or PCOS, may have many small cysts on the ovaries. These tiny cysts are actually follicles with eggs in them. They're not dangerous and don't need to be removed. Some patients may have a dermoid cyst, also called a mature cystic teratoma. This type of cyst is not affected by the menstrual cycle. It's a benign overgrowth of some cells within the ovary. These cysts are typically not harmful, but may need to be removed if they grow large. Some cysts may not necessarily be on the ovaries, but instead be attached to the fallopian tubes or surrounding tissues. These are often benign and not dangerous, but may or may not go away on their own. Luckily, it's very rare for cysts on the ovaries to be cancerous in children and adolescents. If your healthcare provider has any cancer concerns, they may do extra testing or imaging to confirm. Can ovarian cysts be prevented? If you have a history of developing cysts on the ovaries that cause pain, your healthcare provider may prescribe birth control pills to prevent more cysts from forming. This only works to prevent certain ovarian cysts and doesn't make cysts go away if they're already there. You can talk to your healthcare provider to find out if birth control pills are right for you. From first conversations to treatment, Boston Children's Hospital is committed to keeping children and adolescents healthy. For more information on ovarian cysts, please speak with your primary care or gynecology provider or visit bostonchildrens.org.